I'm going to do some practice with decision making for American style mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This one will be focused on speed during the Charleston. That's half the game, you know. I call these Charleston sprints. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try yourself. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do some sprints and work on some confidence. So all my tiles are out and they've been mixed. I have my smartphone out here with a stopwatch on it. So we're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. I'm going to try to make decisions in under two minutes. So we'll just say we're the dealer for each of these exercises and I'll take 14 random tiles. Next, I'll create a mock Charleston. This is not an exact science. It's just for practice. You really can't simulate random tiles like what you would get in a real game. This is just for practice. All right, so let's see what we can do with these tiles. Okay, multiples, two, three. That's what we're gonna work on. Two, three. I would collect one, two, three, four. Anytime I have mixed suits for consecutive run, I would gather numbers in a range of four. So we're going to work on one, two, three, four, and we have tiles we can pass. This is a little risky passing a white dragon, but we've got some really nice tiles to work with here. As a matter of fact, you know what? I think I'll pull that dragon back and put out a one crack instead. Let's focus on two, three, four and get rid of these. There's a two, and now we have a six like numbers. That's almost as bad as passing a pair. I would not do that. I would go ahead and pass, I think, two, three. Let's get rid of the four. That way we're not passing a white dragon. Passing white dragons is pretty risky. They can be used two ways, and I treat them like uh, flour. We got a one. So we have right now one, two, two, three. I should have kept that four. Let's go ahead and pass these three though. Maybe we'll get the four band back. Okay, if you get a joker, just six, replace it. We got a flower. Keep your flowers because they're very valuable. Okay, now we have to make a choice because we have two discards including a flower or a dragon, a white dragon, which is like a flower as far as value. So obviously we're gonna build around the two, three. So I'm thinking we can give up the one. I would probably say uh, two, three, maybe two, three consecutive pung hand concealed. Let's, let's give up the two crack and pass these three. There's a two dot and we have three tiles to pass. I'm gonna go ahead and risk passing the white for now. So you want to try not to pass the white, but if you have to, just do it. Exchanging. And uh, let's see, we have Pung here, two, three, two, three. Let's pass these three. We've got a flower. So I think we should pass one blind for optional cross. Yeah, I went way over. Look at that. That's terrible. Okay, but we're set. Well, almost. We're going to have to use these for threes. Or we could use them for maybe a one crack or a four crack for a consecutive Kong hand. So we've got some flexibility there. So I think uh, two discards after a Charleston is not bad. We could play uh, two, three concealed pung hand are the last one under consecutive run we could play two three four with four cracks or one two three with one cracks all leveraging these flowers and the multiples here 
If you would have done anything differently with these, let me know in the comment section. Let's do another one. I need to shave off some time. All right, multiples. We have an east, pair of east. That's where I start. That's where the power is for American Mahjong in the multiple. Sometimes you can work around singles if you're forcing a hand or you're going for a dot. And if you want more information about that, there's a link below the video. I think I would keep wins and dragons. Maybe since we have two sevens, let's keep like numbers. Uh, we may be able to do something consecutive Maybe we could even play a quint with these jokers. So uh, let's see, we have a one, three, five. This is a little bit risky, but I'm thinking we can go for a higher point hand here. Let's risk it. We got a white dragon. So now we have a multiple and we have an east. I think a quint is in order here. So we need to pair up our number tiles at this point. We can get rid of a south because we only need one wind and this gives us numbers to work with. We need to pair one of these up. I would not pass two dragons in a wind like that. I would not do it. I think we could go ahead and break this up a little bit and pass these three. Maybe if we can get them out there. Okay, exchange. All right, no multiple. We need to mix this up a little bit here. Oh, let's see, four, five, seven, eight. Let's pass one of each suit. Okay, we got a flower. That could be good joker bait. So now we need to pick something. We need, we need a multiple in here. Let's pass these three. Okay, exchange. We got the east. So we have three, eight, one. Let's get rid of the eight and the five. Let's see if we can get a multiple in here. Flower, we're whittling down our abilities here with these flowers. I think I would pass one blind. And it's kind of arbitrary at this point, which one to keep. We got a three, we picked up a multiple. Okay, let's pass one blind. That was fortuitous. Lap. Okay, Quint, we've got one away from being set and we have joker bait. I would probably hold the three as long as possible in hopes of maybe pairing up one or the other, giving us his best the best chance of getting more multiples um, in the number tile. We could Kong that and just hold your horses here, wait for a joker to come in because we've got the four. All we need to do is draw a joker in the pick and discard phase of the game. This would be joker bait, which is great to have when you're playing a quint. So that's what I would do with these tiles. If you would have done anything different, write it in the comment section. That one went long too. Obviously I need to practice which is why these sprints are so good. Okay, last one, <clears throat> here we go. So we have a couple of dragons. We have a multiple in the three. We do have a two, three, four here. Here's a four, I'm thinking consecutive consecutive or like numbers with dragons. And we have tiles we can pass. This is a little bit risky because it's consecutive. At least it's two suits. Get rid of that joker. We got a two, keep anything consecutive in four numbers. Four number range around your multiple. Let's discard these three. There's a keeper, three and four. Now we have one tiled pass. This is when you pick a hand. So we have three, three, four, three, four. Let's see, I don't think we can keep it all. I think we're gonna have to make a choice with either like numbers or two, three, four. 
let's see here, two, three, four, joker bait. Let's just give up one of the dragons. We got a flower. We have a one, a green, three, four, three. Let's get rid of the four bam. That way we can do have some consecutive Kong opportunity here. Three, four, maybe three, four, five. Now let's pass. We've got multiples here build, we're building around. There's a green dragon north, nine. We can get rid of those. We got a two, two, seven, two, three, two, three, potential joker bait. Let's pass. Let's go ahead and give up the white dragon, get a full pass. That was a bit, a bit of a rough Charleston, I think. Let's see if we can recoup and risk that white dragon. I think in moderation, pass it. So we have joker bait. We have two, three, two sets of joker bait. I think probably I would try for the consecutive pung hand or I would try like numbers with threes. These would be joker bait. Oh my goodness, I need to practice. <laughs> I went way over for all of these. Okay, so sprint one, two minutes, 59 seconds. Sprint two, two minutes, 48. Sprint three, two minutes, 19. So uh, I know that sometimes when I do my, my chatting, my commentary, kind of lengthens the process a little bit, even still, I think I went over. I need practice. Thankfully, I'm not playing at any tournaments in the near future, so I have time. Again, if you have tiles at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps your confidence. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or pick up an inside of the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.